Chapter 11. Communication with Families and the Media The dignity of victims and their families should be protected through the proper handling of personal information and accurate and regular family engagement as well as public communication. Providing clear and timely information can defuse rumours and reduce the stress on affected communities. This is why an information centre should be set up as soon as possible to keep relatives updated on search and recovery efforts. Only the final results of identifications should be provided and families of identified victims should be informed individually prior to the release of information to the media. A range of media can be used in large-scale disasters when inviting all the relatives of possible victims to the centre is impossible. It's also recommended to appoint a media liaison officer to coordinate media briefings with the communication staff of participating agencies, as well as work closely with local and international media, and to cooperate proactively with journalists by preparing regular briefings and facilitating interviews in a designated media center. Journalists must never gain direct access to photographs, individual records or the names of victims. It's vital to maintain a consolidated, updated list of the missing, confirmed dead and survivors, and to keep the public updated on the operation's progress while respecting affected families' rights to privacy. Finally, coordination with international organizations and governments can assist with the identification and closure of some of the cases and with the repatriation or return of identified bodies to families. By following all the steps in the Management of Dead Bodies After Disasters Field Manual, we can ensure the dignified and professional management of the dead and respectful and compassionate support for affected families and communities.